Hi, I'm Adam. I'm a 23-year-old college graduate with an English degree, Minecraft, and a headset. So please, take my advice with a grain of salt. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to Exploring Scotland and Helping Strangers, the show where I uh, take viewer questions and some Yahoo Answers questions and try to help some people out. Uh, it's Adam once again, and we are in the nether. Uh, we're on one of these giant bridges that spin town built out of uh, cobble, which is crazy. I uh, spent a lot of time here working. That goes to Spin's place, but over here I just wanted to show you guys as we get started. Brett has built this giant line that goes all the way to the nether village, and we were having problems with pigmen spawning on the track and messing up. As you can see, they're right near the track, and obviously if you hit one, then your car stops, or your mine cart stops, so... Uh, we did a little research and came up with the idea of building this half stone block over it. Now, uh, you actually can ride through this with a minecart, I didn't realize. Uh, I added this little sign here. But there's not really any uh, danger in doing this. It just looks crazy. So we're going to go out and venture in the 5,000 areas again, but I wanted to show you guys this. So, if you're riding in it, it just looks like you get the little block frame, but... Get ready. If you are uh, epileptic, you might not want, want to watch this next few seconds, but... Whoa. If you try to do like a third-person view, it uh, gets a little crazy. But uh, this line's going to go all the way there, so I'm going to start with some viewer questions. Now, I said in all my alt videos that I'll answer almost anything, and I will. Uh, so I've got a lot of questions that maybe uh, a lot of people would skip over but I'm going to answer anyways it's just some questions deserve maybe a little more time than others so we're going to do a rapid fire a couple of these so first one by uh, the IDK wow can you do a back front flip over a bowl of applesauce uh, I think uh, that would be pretty difficult you see, the problem is if I ate the applesauce first I think I could probably have enough energy to do it but otherwise I'm a little uh I'm not that confident I could pull it off. I'd probably flip, land on the chair, and the uh, applesauce, whatever the applesauce is sitting on, and it would just spill everywhere and it'd get a concussion. So I'm not going to attempt that. Uh, this is by Dude I Own UK. Uh, I got his name right this time. How do you feed your giraffe cat food? Uh, giraffes typically eat uh, leaves and stuff, in my experience, but um, I think the easiest way is probably to. If you have cat food, you probably have a cat, so maybe give some of the cat food to the cat, and uh, the cat will uh, chew it up and take it in its mouth, and then uh, it can climb up uh, the giraffe's neck and uh, maybe spit a little in the giraffe's mouth, and you'll feed it that way. But I think the giraffe could probably, uh, even at a young age, I don't know, they probably drink milk at a young age, but I wouldn't worry too much about a giraffe getting food as long as you have trees and stuff around. And you probably shouldn't bring your cat into the zoo or worry about feeding the giraffes there anyways. Uh, this is by Richard Z. Xiong. Uh, question for helping strangers. Hi, I like your vids. Uh, well, thank you very much. I just want to say thanks, but uh, that's not actually a question. So, I don't know. Uh, it's good to have your support, but uh, you might want to rethink that for next time. So let's, yeah, we're going to go through the portal here once again, and we'll go to a Yahoo Answers in the meantime. Oh, I can't, I, you can't pause when you go through a portal, it's kind of weird. We're going to have to wait a second here, but I'm going to do a Yahoo Answers question as soon as we get through the portal. How are you guys today? I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Alright, it's uh, night time, so let's go inside here to hide for a second. Pretty sure Brett built this because he built that path out to his village. So our first Yahoo Answers question comes from Fire and Rain. What's the best way to look cool if you're walking the dog and stuck carrying that plastic bag? After all, responsible pet owners pick up their dogs, but I don't think there's a way to not look stupid, especially if you are, uh, already have a little gift from the dog in the bag. Sorry, that was my phone. Uh... So yeah, she is looking for a way to look cool with a little poop bag. Um, I think if the... Ooh, let's get out of here. Uh, if the bag hasn't been used, you don't really have to worry too much. I mean, you could hide it in your pocket. But once you got poop in there, I mean, it is kind of hard to look cool. Uh, 
I think one cool way you could do it, just swing it around kind of like, you know how people used to swing like watches on chains? Just kind of swing that bag around and the weight of the uh, dog poop will just kind of propel it really quick and it'll look pretty cool. Um, if you have a fanny pack, uh, you could put it in there. Uh, maybe if you already put it in a plastic bag, maybe like get a Gucci bag or something like fashionable or cool to put that tiny plastic bag inside of. I think that would look pretty cool. Uh, what else could you do? Oh, man. Sorry. I'm going to silence my phone. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, what else would you... I think, honestly, what I would do is... Why stop at having a dog? I have always wanted to be a falconer and have, like, a hawk or, like, a falcon or something, like, trained, you know? So... Maybe you should train a bird of prey, and as soon as as soon as you scoop that poop in the bag, the the falcon will swoop down and just grab the bag, and they'll he'll take it to the nearest trash receptacle and he'll deposit it there, and then he'll come back and like perch on your arm, really cool, and people aren't even gonna notice. Uh, and plus you have a sweet ass bird. Nobody's gonna care about your dog's poop. And uh, I think, actually, maybe the coolest thing if. If your dog can ride a skateboard, like that bulldog that rides the skateboard, then no one's going to care about you having a, a bag of poop in your hand, you know? They're going to be watching your dog, like, freaking grinding and doing sweet ollies off of all the sidewalks and stuff, so I wouldn't worry too much. I'm trying to look for that cave uh, that I was in before, because it was cool, but I'm kind of wandering the desert here. But yeah, I don't know... I, you have a dog, which is pretty cool in itself, so don't worry too much about looking cool while you're, uh, you know, picking up its poop. Let's do another viewer question. This is by Christ6345. If you're hiding from the cops, what's the best way to get them off your trail? Um, I think, uh, well, the way I would do it is, uh, I have a giraffe. Uh, me and uh, dude I own you, we've got giraffes. So uh, I would just hop on it because I think giraffes, they look really slow. I mean, if you've ever been to a zoo and seen a giraffe like run, it's really weird because they look like they're going in slow motion, but they're super quick. And I don't think any cop with a baton and pepper spray is going to like mess with a dude that's riding a giraffe like full speed, you know. Whoa. I think that, yeah, it's the same ravine that I looked at last time. Hey. Look at that. There is a mine shaft down there. And a chest just waiting to be plucked. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's just dig our way down. We'll find our way out. Um, yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can get away from cops. I think most people don't have giraffes, you know. Uh, I would be careful if you do, because I think that's one of the ways the cops are after you, because uh, you're not really supposed to have them in residential areas, so I think uh, that's probably where your trouble started. But you're going to be tempted running from the cops, I think, to, like, hide in backyards and uh, hide in, like, uh, kiddie pools and sandboxes and stuff, those little, like, turtle sandboxes, because that's what I always see on cops, so I would uh, not do that when you're running. I mean, don't just kind of sit in a group and kind of like uh, keep your head down because then the cop is just going to casually pepper spray you Ooh. and that's not going to be good um, I think we're pretty close to the chest aren't we uh, I think the best way is just you know don't do anything stupid don't go out there full GTA trying to you know Pretend like you uh, want to kill hookers and stuff. Hey, someone was here already. And put glass there for some reason. Um, but yeah, don't just don't do anything that's going to get the cops after you. I know it's a little uh, up in the air right now with everything that's going on. You might not actually have to do anything bad to uh, encounter that. What? Someone built stairs and glass everywhere? Somebody mine shaft trolling. Um, I know Brett likes stairs, so I wonder if he was in here. Let's do, I think, one more Yahoo Answers question before we get going. This is by Cameron. How do I get good grades in high school? I'm in grade 12, and I've noticed I haven't been getting good grades at all. In fact, failing every class. I usually just skip with my friends to get some coffee and eat. I live on the other side of town, and I take a school bus to my school. 
It seems like everyone I hang out with is causing me to fail, but it's my doing. Do you think it is uh, if I transfer to another high school on the, my side of town, I might be able to do a lot better in school for next semester? Um, this is one of those really obvious ones that they probably didn't need to go on Yahoo Answers to get answers for. Uh, but I think it merits some discussion. Uh, if you are... Uh, it sounds like you're actually enjoying high school. Ooh. Creeper. Come here, buddy. Come here, little guy. Yep. Bye-bye. Um, yeah, it sounds like you're enjoying high school a lot. I mean, you're probably not going to graduate, but you're having fun, right? Uh, I think... <laughs> this is really satisfying uh, to knock those guys into the pit. Um, I would probably... Uh, the best way to get grades is invite your teachers out with you. I mean, they're they're adults. They like coffee. They like eating. They like going on joy rides and not having to work. So maybe you should uh, say, "Hey, Mr. Brown, why don't you come with us? We're gonna go down to the rock pit. We're gonna throw rocks into the, the quarry and stuff. We're gonna go to the bridge and we're gonna hide underneath it and smoke candy cigarettes and stuff." So I think uh, an adult professor, well not professor, but a teacher would uh, appreciate being invited. I mean, it couldn't hurt. They already know you're skipping anyways, I'm sure. So, uh, it's either this or failing, you know. And maybe they'll give you good grades because you kind of showed them that life's, there's more to life, you know, than just uh, making weird fart noises like an enderman. Um, yeah, there's more to life than just uh, going to school and becoming successful. Oh wow, a separate creeper blew up somewhere. Man, this is exciting. I hate to end the video here, but uh, I think we've pretty much gone through a lot of the questions. Uh, I, I did this to Yahoo also because I know a lot of the... Uh, man, I know a lot of the viewers of uh, Scotland, uh, a lot of Zach's videos and Mac and everybody's fans, they're probably fairly young. So this is a good reminder, kids. Uh, if you... Go out and throw rocks in a pit all of your life in school, then you're probably not going to graduate and uh, be able to do anything in life. So, so kids, skip the appropriate amount. Do, don't skip too much. But if you can, if you can manage it, if you can uh, push it, then you know, do what you can. But don't do as this guy has done. And we have struck gold. So I think that's a good place to end it here. I'm just gonna get this gold real quick. If you have any questions uh, uh, for me, I will answer just about anything, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, I've got some information here. You can send me a uh, message on YouTube if you want an anonymous. Just specify that and, you know, notify me on Twitter. Uh, Swimming Bird Fly is my Twitter name. And just leave a comment the easiest way. So I've got a bit of questions going, but if uh, you leave one, I promise I will get to it eventually. I mean... I, I hit off about four in this episode, so we're getting on track to uh, find some more, or answer some more. So, But that's it for me. Uh, I might come back to this area again, because this is pretty exciting, this crazy ravine mineshaft uh, cluster F. Um, so guys, uh, have a good day, and stay safe. <laughs>